Are you looking for the best smart notebooks? In this video we will look at some of the 5 best smart notebooks on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1, Books Tab Ultra. Books makes great e-ink tablets for taking notes. They're much more expensive, though, and heavier to carry around. Writing with a stylus on the Tab Ultra was similar to the above two picks. It feels natural. You can create multiple notebooks and save them to Google Docs or Dropbox. I also tested the Note Air 2 Plus. But the Tab Ultra is a bit faster, with more storage and a 16MP camera for scanning physical documents to your device. I also tried the keyboard case, which I really liked using when I needed to take more notes or my hand started to cramp. There are a bunch of apps available so you can read ebooks, check your emails, or browse your favorite newspaper. If you want all the capabilities of a tablet but prefer writing on e-ink screens, Consider this upgrade. Number 2. Kobo Ellipsa. Kobo makes some of our favorite e-readers and this combines reading with note-taking. The Ellipsa is pricey, but it comes with a stylus that allows you to mark up ebooks and compatible PDFs. If you're an English major who has to read multiple books a semester, this might be a great option for you to easily keep track of notes. Plus you can create numerous notebooks like the other tablets here. Pro tip. You can check out ebooks from your local library for free if you have a library card. A Kindle alternative, the Kindle Scribe, $340.8, wired recommends, is slightly cheaper than the Kobo, but they work basically the same, with easy to use notebook options. We prefer Kindle interfaces, but marking books is actually simpler on the Kobo, with the Kindle. You have to use sticky notes instead of writing directly on the page. Number 3. Ice and Repaper Graphic Tablet. You can take notes with Repaper as easily as with the other items on this list, but I think artists will enjoy easily digitizing their work, especially those just getting started. It's cheaper than an iPad. Repaper uses a tablet and magnetized rings to automatically digitize notes as you work on real physical paper. Any properly sized paper will work, if it's bigger than the tablet, you won't get an accurate digital version, as will any writing utensil that fits a repaper ring, it comes with a pencil. The Repaper Studio app shows your work in real time if you wanted to, that's especially handy if you want to draw directly on the tablet with the included stylus and not use paper or if you're sharing your screen via Zoom for class. If not, you can finish and upload your creation later. You can download shareable time lapse videos too. It's not without its faults, and I occasionally found it to be buggy when switching between pens, but overall I was impressed. Number 4 Apple iPad, 2021, 9th Gen. E ink notebooks are easier on the eyes and feel closer to paper than a glass screen tablet, but in some cases, you might spend less getting an iPad and an Apple Pencil, and a keyboard if you also want to type sometimes. You can also do more on them thanks to the thousands of apps in the App Store, but still take notes and draw. An iPad is typically more intuitive to use than many of these digital notebooks too. Wired writer Gina Gray uses her 11-inch iPad Pro with the Good Notes and Notability apps for her writing but there are other models that should work fine. Read our best iPads guide to learn about the differences, and check out our best tablets guide for other Android offerings. Number 5. Rocketbook Core. I find a lot of joy in brand new notebooks, but there's no doubt that they can be wasteful. Rocketbook makes several reusable notebooks, planners, and accessories like flashcards. Take notes with an erasable pilot friction pen. One should come with whichever item you buy, scan photos to the Rocketbook app, and erase the whole thing with the damp microfiber cloth. The app is designed to keep everything organized and easily send things off to Google Drive, Evernote, OneNote, and a handful of other options. The paper isn't as nice to write on as regular paper, but it's made to withstand a damp cloth. If I took a ton of notes every day, I'd probably want really good paper. But I like that one notebook can last as long as you take care of it. I stuck with the black pen it came with, 
but some people buy colorful frictions for more organized notes.